good evening, morning, or afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is having an amazing week. And this is week number three. And I am back in the same location as my previous video. There's just a different cruise ship in the background. Docked at Broadway Pier as usual. This is the Crystal Symphony. I think I already mentioned that before I introduced this video. It is lovely, isn't it? Have a look over here. I'm trying to zoom in on its anchor. That's as far as I can go, actually. Let's look up and see those lovely little balcony staterooms. I believe down there are some many of the public areas. I don't think there are ocean view staterooms. I think those portholes are crew rooms, I believe. Um, let's have a look around here so you can kind of tell. Um, it's been here for a while and if, and if you want to see all the details of the entire thing in a video just went up that was actually shot on board this thing at this exact same location. I don't know what itinerary this was before though, but on the day I'm filming this, um, this would be the its very last appearance here for this entire cruise season. So I thought, okay, this is the last time I'll actually get to see the Crystal Symphony. And we did it! We got to see the Crystal Symphony. Let's go over the opposite end of this thing. But... This arrangement, I believe, is a home port arrangement, so what that means, this is where you basically come and check in and all that stuff. And once again, this is the very last cruise that Crystal Symphony is doing out of San Diego for this entire port season here, so... As you can see, there's people boarding over there. Let me zoom in on the gangway, or gangplank, whatever you want to call it. There it is. Everyone boarding for a lovely cruise. It's done quite a few. The previous cruise that it just came back from was the Golden Pacific Paragons. Uh, what a weird name for an itinerary, but... It's true. So basically, the security's back out here and they're just checking to see that, about cars dropping off passengers over there. And I'm on the opposite end of this driveway now. And I don't know if you can see, I think I'll zoom in here. You can kind of see the Chris Cruz's logo on the funnel over there. And those big balloon-like particles, those are the SATCOM systems, so that's for like the satellite internet on board so you can connect to literally everywhere I don't think it has the Starlink system yet hopefully it does in the future looks like some whale watching excursions are about to start let's continue And then there's another one right there, the Venture Hornblower. That's the other whale watching boat here. They're pretty much waiting to board over there. Alright, let's keep going. So here's some stuff that I really didn't have time to show you in my last video. So, I think this is part two, but this is actually Seaport Village I'm passing through. I believe this place is a steakhouse, unfortunately. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm saying this, because I'm... I've been vegan for like... One and a half years. Two year anniversary coming in June. <laughs> but the real thing that I wanted to show you while we were here... It's actually across the street, so... Nobody coming. 
It's actually really quiet today. Usually it's like busy and congested over here. You hear a bunch of car horns. <laughs> we have some... Uh, these can't be super yachts. Oh wow, there is a big spire over there. Did I tell you they were building, they were building a new concert venue on the bay? Supposed to make its debut at the Tequila and Taco Music Festival next year. <sighs> Alright, we're coming up to our final stop of the day. Let's go over where the music isn't as loud. I know I'm gonna do this over here. So. As I said, these are actually the Manchester Twin Towers. We're just right next to them now, literally almost. Uh, and another set of Twin Towers, these are, I believe, the Harbor Club Twin Towers. I believe those are condos, I think. Next to it, Marriott Marquis, also Twin Towers. They are equal in design and height. And then just over there, that is the Bayfront Hilton. I can tell you something, um, the operators of each of the hotels don't actually own the land. It's actually owned by the port. And then that's the Coronado Bay Bridge, which you saw in the last video. Alright. Thank you guys for joining us on our trip down to Seaport Village. Now it's time for us to head back. Well, we're almost back. Well, halfway there actually. We're scouting locations right now. I think we found in scouting locations where we could probably do um, soccer trick shot videos. active on the on this day but maybe a few other days of the year maybe the that could be a possibility I'm still scouting some other locations around all right we are back at the car And I'll see you guys over at another location. For the rest of the year in every single video, I'm going to be doing a term of the week. So I'll present a different term and met numerous definitions for it. And since I've been showing cruise ships in some of my, my most recent videos, I thought it would be really, really cool to start with a more appropriate term of the week. So to start things off, the term of the week this week is going to be cruise. There are three definitions. The first one is sailing on a boat in an area with no precise destination. This is especially for pleasure. Two of a motor vehicle or aircraft traveling smoothly at a moderate or economical speed. So that's where the term cruise control comes in. The third one is um, a voyage on, let's say a cruise ship, exactly taken for pleasure or as a vacation, and usually calling in at several places. So, most prominent example, a cruise to the Bahamas. <laughs> but anyways, that is going to be it for this week's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And just like that, we'll see you guys next week.